What's up guys? Today we have a glute and shoulder workout, my favorite thing to train. And right now, we're gonna start with a hip mobility routine, but I'm gonna walk you through every single exercise as I do it, and then we will put a clip behind it to show you how it's done. Before you head into your squats or your glute day in general, I typically like to warm up with some sort of glute activation exercise and that is banded glute kickbacks. Just do 20 each side for three to four sets and I swear your glutes are gonna be burning so much but they're gonna be completely activated before you start your squats. That way, if you are quad dominant like I am, your body is going to feel it more in your glutes when you start your workout rather than just going straight into it. So, hope this works for you guys. The band that I use is from 4Core. Let's get it. Why you be ushers on bragging about hundreds? Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely can trust you. We are doing some squats. I try and go a little bit heavy to where I can get at least six to eight reps for four sets. You wanna try and, I like to go wide stands, toes a little bit out to work my glutes. Everyone's body mechanics are different, everyone's goals are different, but this is how I typically stand. I'll squat down a little bit over 90 degrees, squeeze your glutes the entire time, squeeze them to come up, squeeze them to come down, keep your core tight. Let's do it. Be calling, left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The forward Next, we have hip thrust. Honestly, if there were one exercise to help build your glutes, I would always choose hip thrust. Like, if you're short on time that day, do six rounds of hip thrust, 10 to 12 reps, and you'll be good. So, we have this whole setup. Honestly, it's a little bit annoying to get set up, but it's so worth it. Uh, make sure that you do have a hip thrust pad, whoa, that's right, hip thrust pad. But if you don't, you can always take a towel and double it up for a makeshift, makeshift hip thrust pad. 10 reps, four sets. Let's get it. Phone progression is all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems, or problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is. Okay, this next move is a step up with a reverse lunge on the opposite leg. So you're actually working both legs in this exercise. So you're gonna work the right leg on the way up, and then the left leg on the way down. You're gonna do about 10 reps each side, four sets. You can either have a plate overhead and do it, or you can have dumbbells to your side and do it. When you do the step up, really squeeze through that glute, push through that heel to target your glutes, and then on the way back, come down to a 90 degree angle, again, squeezing the glute, pushing through that heel. Tight core to keep you balanced. Let's go. Through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling, phone and progression. All right, the last glute movement is an RDL, a Russian deadlift. And with these, I like to really bend my knees so that it targets my glutes. Because if you think about it, if you keep your legs straight, your hamstrings are gonna be targeted rather than a bend in the legs is going to target and really pull through your glutes. So what you wanna do, get your stance, go really heavy, as heavy as you can, with your kettlebell, dumbbell, barbell, whatever you want. Give me about 10 reps. And don't forget, push your glutes back. Really feel it in the glute hamstring tie-in. You're going to come up, tuck your chin under, and come all the way back down. That's one rep. Make sure that your neck is always in line with your spine and you're not Pointing out, I see a lot of people do this movement. Make sure to keep that neck tucked in. Here we go. Through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't All right, we're moving on to shoulders, my absolute favorite. Uh, we're going to start with an Arnold press, which basically works the front and the side uh, delt. You're going to take 
the dumbbells in front of you, twist them on the way up into a press, twist them back down to your front. So you're really working that entire kind of frontal side cap here. Um, you can go as heavy as you like and do six to eight reps, or you can go a little bit lighter, do 10 to 12 reps, whatever you're kind of feeling. I like to go a little bit heavier on these, and then the rest of the shoulder exercises, I'll go a little bit lighter for 10 to 12 reps. So give me six to eight reps here, four sets. So proud as I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm So the next exercise, next delta exercise, is a leaning lateral raise. And this is different than just standing straight up. It just gives you a different angle, uh, switches things up for your muscle. So you're gonna do eight to ten heavier. Drop the weight, give me eight to ten lighter. You're gonna do that on both sides, three to four sets. The third delt exercise is an upright row. This will get your uh, front delt primarily, and you can actually see that your front delt will be a little bit pumped. Uh, that's what should happen. If you're using a lot of your bicep, make sure to go lighter on the weight. But here, I'll do 12 reps, four sets each side. The very last delt exercise is going to burn them delt out so bad. So what you're gonna do is take a plate. Um, if a plate is too heavy for you, if the 10 pounds are too heavy, do a dumbbell about five pounds. But what you wanna do, you're gonna do 10 reps, front raise, 10 reps, presses, 10 reps, steering wheels. That's one set. Give me four of those and then we'll be done. We are done with the workout. I always tend to go super fast, minimal rest times, because A, I like my heart rate to be raised the entire time, and B, I have a very busy life right now, so I like to get in and out within like 45 minutes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Comment down below if you're doing it, or if you did it, let me know how it goes. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next clip.